I'm back again. Today we're playing Border Down, which I played the other day, but I think I was able to fix the interlacing problem I was having the other day because the the laser beams and whatever, the, the game footage looked a little bit uh, interlaced, so hopefully it looks a little bit better now. Uh, again, I am playing with the Dreamcast arcade stick, and uh, yeah, we're going to get it going. Uh, so I played this the other day and I thought it was great. I think this is a great game. If they ever released a, you know, a Dreamcast Mini, uh, I feel like this is a game that should be on there. But, um, yeah. Actually, I heard about, uh, there was rumors going around that there was possibly going to be a Dreamcast Mini, but maybe I'll talk about that later when there's people in the chat. Let's give this a go. Here we go. Let's get this started. Donna Magix is the first today in the chat. I don't know if I've seen you before, but thanks for coming in. I'm playing uh, Border Down for Dreamcast. What's up, uh, Abu315? What's up, Sapphire? Sapphire, I've seen you before. <laughs> thanks for watching, uh, AKS. He's watching from India. I, I always wonder how my streams translate to people in other parts of the world because I'm very, I, I'm very, uh, I have a very dry, sarcastic sense of humor, and I feel like that doesn't translate well in, in certain places, so it is, it is what it is. exactly how far I made it the other day. I feel like I want to say I made it about halfway. It's tough. Uh, it's tough to make it. So the idea with Border Down is... Whoa. And on the last stream, I found out that there's continues. Uh, the idea is you play through as you start on the easy route. And if you die, you go to a route that's a little bit harder, which is the yellow one. And then if you die again, you go to the hardest route, which is the red one. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And you, you try to make it as far as you can, I guess, on the green. And, and hope to not hope to not die. So this is a game where you want to never die, <laughs> believe it or not. Wow, a shmup that you never want to die? Who would have thought? That's like all of them. Am I ever gonna do a 32X stream? Yeah, I could. Um, I don't know what I play on it. James and I, we did a James and Mike Monday on, um, I guess we did a few different 32X things now that I think about it, but I know we did Knuckles Chaotix, and man, that was a pain in the ass to get that to work, but uh, we did. We did Knuckles Chaotix, which was a weird fucking game from what I remember. And then we also did, oh my God, I just fucking died. Uh, we also did, I feel like one of the Star Wars things. Um, one of the Star Wars like 32X games at one point. So, I mean, we've done some Let's Plays, but as far as streaming, um, I don't know what I play on stream. I'd have to like look through the library and figure out what I might uh, this looks like a modern UN squadron. Uh, oh, I like that. A modern UN squadron. This game is, uh, this is Dreamcast. 3DO A to Z stream would be exceptional. Uh, geez. That also would be painful for me. So that's why you're saying it would be exceptional. <laughs> is the Wii the best emulation for Game Boy, SNES, and Super Nintendo? Is Wii the best emulation? So you mean like the virtual console? Um... Is it the best emulation? Um, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not a good person to answer that. Um, it's been a long time since I used like virtual console shit on a Wii, so I don't even really remember. Um, I, so I do. I don't. I don't know. 
there's probably different emulators on your PC, and some are better than others, I'd imagine, so I, I don't know. Uh, I, I'd imagine probably a, emulating on the PC, depending on what you're using, is probably the best. I, I would guess, but I don't know. Usually, so here's here's the deal with that. Usually, if I'm gonna do that, I um I prefer to use EverDrives. Um, I don't I don't have anything against emulation. Uh, the only the, real, the only real problem is that you know so, uh, you can have lag. But um, it's emulation is a great way for people to find. Uh, games, you know, or to test games, and it's also great for preservation, and there's a lot of, you know, good uses for emulation, um, but, uh, as far as, like, NES games go, and Genesis and stuff like that, like, I, I would personally recommend a, recommend an EverDrive, uh, over, over emulating, I'm gonna probably just start this over, I think. Dreamcast Mini needs Resident Evil Code Veronica, says Sammy Shehole. <laughs> I'm good, Andre. Thanks for coming in. Do I like Giga Wing? I played Giga Wing on stream here not long ago, and it was really, it was really, really good. I thought. Um, my only problem with it was that there wasn't an option on there for how many continues you can do. From what I remember, and that was that always bothers me with this. I feel like there should be lots of options for continuing in lives and stuff like that. Uh, but other than that, the game itself I thought was fantastic. Uh, so yeah, Giga Wing was really good. What controller am I using? Very clicky. I'm using the Dreamcast arcade stick. Thank you, Hexrigex, for subbing tier one. For 14 months, thank you very much. Appreciate all the subs. What's up, Levance91? All right, let's get this started again. See if I can do any better. I should do a stream of girl games like Barbie and Nintendogs. Is Nintendogs considered a girl game? I don't know if I've ever played... Um, Nintendo dogs. I, I think I played the Barbie NES game when I went through the A to Z, uh, which the Barbie NES game, unfortunately, was not very good. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Yeah, never. I never played Nintendo dogs actually. Um, what? What do you even do in that game? I remember I, I've heard the name. That was was that on Wii? I don't even fucking remember what was what that was on. Genesis had a good Barbie game. It's like a Tamagotchi. So yeah, with those, it's like, what is it like? You leave it on and hope the hope your pet doesn't die or some shit. You take care of it like once a day or one of one of those type of things. You gotta feed it like once a day or some shit like that. God damn it! Here, I'm starting over again. I don't, I don't know. You had it on the 3DS. I don't know. I've never played that. You clean up clean up dog shit. The game. Oh, it sounds great. Clean up dog shit the game. Nintendo dogs. Sounds fantastic. That's what everybody wants to do. You pick up turds. Do you do you actually do that? You probably do, don't you? I mean that's one of the fucking things you got an animal, so. Pick up pick up shit. So anyway, hopefully this doesn't look interlaced. The other day when I tried streaming this game or Dreamcast stuff, um, the footage, especially with this and the laser beams, was looking very interlaced. 
so hopefully it looks a little bit more smooth now. So I'm playing this with an RGB cable, but I uh, I fixed my settings a little bit, so it's a little bit more smooth. So hopefully it looks better than the other day. Hopefully. Bum teeth says looks better. Yeah, yeah. Bum teeth. Uh, were you in here the other day? Looks good, and you're, but you're on a phone. <laughs> well, then I'm probably not gonna. I mean, how well how well can you see the quality on your phone? I don't know. Probably all right, I guess. It's always fun when simulation games include the stuff about something that you don't normally want to do. That's like having a racing game where you have to clean out the animals from your engine that build nests in it. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they got it included. I know there's like a um, a bunch of like ho horse related games where you gotta like take care of a horse, uh, like brush it and shit. There's probably a lot of parts of that that are not great. I don't know if you have to like pick up the horse shit off the ground. I haven't played a lot of those horse games, but I know uh, I know most of my chat. Usually, that's like my chat's favorite game is those all those horse games like my my pet horse and brush the horse for the Wii and ride the horse. Let, leg up horse surfs again and all those fucking games farming simulator there you go cat simulator one where you have that your cat constantly pukes on the floor and you have to clean up the puke with a special scent module in the cartridge so you can smell the puke. That sounds perfect. Or how about one where your, your, your animal wipes his asshole on the ground? James would talk about that a lot. As a, he had a cat, or a cat or a dog that would like drag its ass on the ground. To get somewhere here. Oh, now, see, now this is going down. Before it was starting, like going up. Well, I guess it's going up and down, so never mind. So I made it to the fourth one. Now I drop down to the next harder thing. Oh, and it doesn't drop you like straight down. It drops you like, it drops you down, but it puts you one ahead though. I don't think I realized that. So that's almost like you, if you die, you actually get to skip a section. That could almost be convenient. If you're having like a really hard time on a certain stage, maybe die on purpose to drop down to the next area or something. I think of different methods here. There we go. Now most of the time when you see me playing um, STG shmups, usually I play with uh, control pad, but I've been trying to mess with the arcade sticks a little bit more lately. I feel like I'm, I'm definitely better with a game pad because I'm more used to it. Fucking shit. That's where you gotta use the other thing. Alright, now I'm on my last life. Hopefully I get, get a continue. 
I don't know at what point. There's probably a certain score that you have to get to get a continue. And I don't know what the number is yet. Good thing I hit that there like that. Come on, motherfucker. This could they got me. Fucking shit. Is that it? Oh, I gotta continue. Alright. I guess I got enough points. I don't know. I don't know how the continue system works. If anybody does know how the continue system works in this, please let me know. It'd be very helpful. Shit. Nice, got him. Alright, so that's level two, I think. I should try playing this game with a Guitar Hero controller. I don't, how would that work? Massage your dog's anal glands would be a great simulation material. Yes! Expressing the anal gland for Nintendo Wii. Actually, did you guys ever play that? Uh, expressing dog's anal glands for Wii U? Excellent. Very highly underrated title. Should get it. I think it was PAL only. That's why you might not have seen it. But look around. Look around. You might find it. Go to GameStop and ask for it. I was watching Mike Matei on Twitch. Fucking that part always gets me. I remember that from the other day. And he said... <laughs> right, this is the Star Wars level. things around the bottom. Let's say, don't fucking die. That, the, the, all those fuckers in the background, that, that freaks me out. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Nice shooting, Tex! Starting me at the beginning of this one. All right, so it's so it did set me back. Anyway, so yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the Dreamcast Mini. I, I saw an article online, or actually, I, I think I was on Twitter, and I saw somebody mention the Dreamcast Mini or somewhere, and. 
So I was like, Dreamcast Mini, are they actually making that? So I looked it up, and I saw an article online, and it was saying that basically there's plans for it, I guess, because you know they did the Genesis Mini, Sega Genesis Mini, so they're thinking, I guess, they were thinking about the SG-1000, and that's a weird thought that they're, they're thinking about the SG-1000 for like a mini console. I, I don't like. I would. I mean, I think that would be cool. There's a Commodore 64 one, so like, why not? I guess. But I think the thing people really want, I, I would imagine, is the Dreamcast. I mean, personally, I think I almost rather see a, a Sega Saturn mini. But I want to uh, actually pull up the article. Uh, I actually did grab it before the stream, so let me show this to you. Uh, I can find it. Let's do. That there we go. So yeah, so I looked I looked this up, and uh, this was ten games that we wanted to see on a potential uh, Sega Dreamcast Mini. So this is the article I was reading, and you know they're talking about the Game Gear Micro and all that, which I, I didn't grab that. I have a consoleized Game Gear uh, that I got a long time ago. So I don't know, and that's like a micro system. I don't think I care about the micro systems very much. Uh, like. For me, you know what I always talk about? How, like, the Nintendo Switch, I won't play it, like, handheld or, or Game Boy. I don't play it handheld. Like, Game Boy, I like to play on a television because I want to have a big screen. The last thing I would want is for it to be mini, but um, like, to play it, like, on a little teeny screen. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't have one, so I don't even know how it works, but may, maybe you can just plug it into your TV. I, I would hope so. But anyway, um, so, yeah, there's this whole article on this and this guy was given his um suggestions for um different games that would be that he thinks would be on the uh dreamcast mini so there's sonic adventure which i think that that's a good choice i mean you gotta have the sonic game on there like i remember everybody would pretty much talk about crazy taxi Sonic Adventure, like, uh, those were pretty much the big ones. And Soul Calibur. Like, for me, for me, back then, those are the ones that I would always hear about as far as Dreamcast goes. Daytona USA, I guess. You know, I tried playing that with the, um, or you know what? No, I was playing the Sega Saturn, uh, one, so never mind. I guess I haven't really messed with the Dreamcast version of it, but still, same kind of thing. I don't know if I care too much about that, but I do like driving games, so I don't know. Maybe. Um, Soul Calibur, that obviously would have to be on there. Uh, Jet Set Radio. So Jet Set Radio, I mean, I don't really care about this. I'm not into skateboarding games, and it's like, I mean, if you are, you probably rather play like Tony Hawk or something, I'd imagine. But um, or Jet Grind Radio, Jet Set Radio, all this. Um, like I personally would not really care about that, but I'm sure there's people that would like that. So I don't know. Now this game, I, I've been wanting to uh, like play this game. I might stream it. This is Power Stone Two. Um, oh, I got this border down thing on the screen. I should take that off. Um, the like, Power Stone 2, uh, I feel like this is a game that I, I might actually be interested in. I don't really know exactly, but it seems like a 3D platforming beat-em-up type of game, um, which seems kind of cool. Um, top-down for... <laughs> this free-for-all feels like a top-down version of Smash Brothers. Well, first of all, this doesn't really look top-down. It's kind of, like, that's not top-down. But anyway, with uh, nutty cartoon characters screen-filling up super attacks and some eye-popping boss fights, simple, short, and sweet, it's perfect. It's a perfect party game for crowds. Like, that's probably, I, like, I probably would like that game. Crazy Taxi, that would definitely have to be on there. I mean, Crazy Taxi is, like, kind of the Dreamcast game that, you, that you know, people talk about and remember for whatever reason it was crazy tack taxi was crazy taxi a launch title for it i feel like it probably was i don't remember ikaruga i personally like the gamecube version of ikaruga slightly more but i mean you got to have ikaruga if it's going to be on dreamcast and i like that his list at least includes one shmup on here resident evil codename veronica i'm not a big resident evil player um i did although i have to say i did kind of like the what i played of the gamecube resident evil 4 i like that one a lot better than the other the more modern one i was playing the resident evil 2 remake i like the gamecube one more i thought it was more fun um but resident evil code, code veronica i don't know much about this game so i guess i guess that would need to be on there i'm not really sure space channel 5 was like a rhythm game for dreamcast so 
Uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm also not super into rhythm games, but I mean, m maybe I'd like this one. See, I don't really care about ones that are like pop music and all that. But I mean, I like Thumper on. Uh, well, I guess it's on like PS4 and stuff, and that's kind of a rhythm game uh, where you're sp sort of a spaceship going back and forth. So I guess it depends what it is. Maybe I'd like Space Channel Five. I don't really, I don't really know. Um, what he was saying here is that uh, Samba de Amigo he mentioned, but you need the, I guess, custom like the Maraca controllers or something for that. Uh, which actually, oh, uh, we James and I did a video on that, the Samba de Amigo, where we're in the car and we're shaking the things, and I have like the sombrero on and whatever. So we actually did a little, little skit on that. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd like this game better. May maybe that's a good choice. I'd have to play Space Channel Five, Skies of Arcadia. I mean, that's supposed to be a really Really good um, JRPG or RPG, whatever. Uh, I haven't played this one, and I'm not the biggest into RPGs, but I guess that's the really good one for the system. So I'm sure you got to have one on there. So that, that's probably a good pick. Um, so that's the stuff in the article that I found. And then the other thing I was thinking is that what about uh, like House of the Dead? House of the Dead, I feel like would also need to be on there. Aaron recently did a video on House of the Dead, and then. Um, I was looking at that, and I was like, oh, God, that's fun, you know? And I played a little bit of it with the gun and all that. And um, So the House of the Dead games seemed like they should be on there. And so, anyway, I was bringing this up because I wanted to ask you guys right now in my chat what games, now that I've gone through all that, what games you think would be on there? And before, before we get to uh, your, your choices, I just want to say, like, there's a lot of uh, shooters and shmups that you know that I like to play that I feel like should be on there like right now we're playing uh, Border Down and I feel like Border Down would be a really good one to, to have on there um, and uh, like Gunbird and stuff now some of these games are also coming out on the Nintendo Switch so like uh, just let's say like Gunbird 1 and 2 that like I knew from I mean a lot of these games are arcade games too but uh, you know I know Gunbird from being on the uh, on the Dreamcast, and it's like now that a lot of these games are on the Switch, it, what what's really better? It, would it be better to have these games just come out on Switch and be able to buy them on Switch or PS4 or something? Do we really even need a Dreamcast Mini? Uh, I mean, that probably goes with a lot a lot of this stuff because could couldn't we just get those? Like, let's say those 10 games I just went through and mentioned, could those games just come out on, like, PS4 and, and like, Switch instead to where you can just buy, buy the games? Do you actually have to have the mini at this point? I feel like we're in an era w with, you know, companies like M2. They're, you know, redoing these shmups and stuff and, uh, and other companies where it's kind of like they're putting them on console. And for me, like, I want to play them on a, cons uh, on a console because I like playing the games on a television. So I, I don't know. Um, but uh, if, if it did have a Dreamcast Mini, one thing that I have to say that, that is really good, a lot of the Dreamcast games are rare and expensive to buy, and it, it especially goes even more so for Sega Saturn. Um, those are even, seems, tend to be even more expensive uh, from what I, you know, in my experience. So um, I think that, uh, uh, you know, especially for Saturn, it would be really good to have a mini for, for these systems since they're, like, so pricey. So I feel like it could, it could go either direction or even both. They could have a Dreamcast mini, they could have a Sega Saturn mini, and then on top of that, release a bunch of these games on the systems would be good. So I want to see uh, what my chat says about this uh, Keys says, I hope Granada is on there. Let's, let's see that. Or Grandia, is it? I don't even know that game. Here, oh wait, let's get this back up. Uh, so... My chat is talking about this game here, Grand Grandia, I guess. I guess so. This was also on uh, Dreamcast, I suppose. Let's see. Looks looks like it was. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I guess that that's one that people want to see. What else did you guys want to see that that would be on a Dreamcast? Oh, Seaman. 
I mean, I guess. Uh, Castle of Shikigami on Dreamcast. Yeah, that one is... Uh, I had that on Xbox 360. That was also on Wii. So that's that game was on a lot of things. Well, you need the the mini so that your dollhouse has all the systems. I guess that that makes that makes sense. Typing of the dead. Typing of the dead. <laughs> there you go. Typing typing of the dead. That would be a good one. You know what though? That you have to have with the keyboard. So that actually probably wouldn't be a very good one cuz then a keyboard would have to come with it. Unless you could just plug in any keyboard into it. Maybe. Um I feel like they wouldn't do that because of that. A Soul Calibur, sure. Like, that would be on there. Any other games that we haven't mentioned that you feel like really should be on uh, a Dreamcast Mini that we didn't mention? Seventh Cross Evolution? Let's see that. I don't know. I don't know that game at all. Okay, we got we got one vote for that game. Oh, Hi Hydro Thunder wasn't Hydro Thunder also on N sixty four? Hold up. First of all, let me look up the N sixty four. Yeah, it was. That's the one I played. So that that was also on Dreamcast. I don't know if I played the Dreamcast one. I played it on, or maybe I have. Um, I think I played it more on the N sixty four back then. The Dreamcast one was way better. I, I believe it. Sonic, the Fantasy Star games. Was Skies of Arcadia mentioned? Yeah, it was. Um, Fantasy Star. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I did Hydro Thunder, Fantasy Star. <laughs> Fantasy Star. Now, Fantasy Star, Fantasy Star was fa like Fantasy Star Online, right? Was the Dreamcast version online? Because they probably wouldn't have online shit with it, I would imagine. I mean, maybe they would, but... Tic-Tac-Toe. A lot of people are talking about MDK2. Look at this game. So what kind of, what, here, let's see. Third person shooter action adventure. I haven't played this game. Bioware Interplay for Dreamcast, Windows, PS2. See, it's a sequel to MDK. Uh, okay. It was on Wii as well. Apparently it was on Wii. Third person shooter. Interesting. Variety of gameplay styles, level design, boss fights, sense of humor. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't, I didn't know about MDK. I'd, I'd play that, maybe. Here, let's see this. Oh, what the hell did I do? Okay, that looks kind of interesting. That's cool. I might, I might play that at some point. I don't know. Seven the Cross Evolution. Oh no, I we just actually somebody mentioned that. Oh yeah, Toy Commander. I think I played Toy Toy Commander uh, on for. I think I played that on also on. Uh, oh no, I'm thinking of no. You know what I'm thinking of? Uh, like Army Men or something on N64. Toy Commander. Yeah, no, I have a copy of Toy Commander. Yeah, so Toy Commander. <sighs> it's not fair. Here you go, Toy Commander. That that probably would be a good one to put on there. Shenmue, oh yeah, there you go. And obviously, um, uh, uh, Seaman, they probably want to get on there. Th this they would have to have on there. Now, I don't think that this would be my type of game, but, uh, you know, a lot of people... The, they, they made a Dreamcast specifically for this game. See if I can actually find it. I think it was... I think it might have been... Custom console. 
I forget which one. It, I don't know which one it is. But they made. I think they made a console that was specifically like for this game. But so it was a big enough game that like. And also, by the way, have you guys ever seen the the? Um, hold up a second. Have you guys ever seen this fucking thing? That they actually made a Seaman uh, uh, Dreamcast? Isn't that fucking crazy? Sega Rally, people are saying. Mike, you should put more ads on your stream. So my chat is telling me now that I should have more ads on my stream. So because of that, let's see if I can do it. Apparently, I have an a ad going right now. Somebody in my chat was like, let me see who that was. Mike, you should run more ads. Cave Job said I should run more ads. <laughs> and then there's another guy that says, KT cleans a lot. It says no. So I think the only people that can see me right now are you guys that are subbed. If you're not subbed, then an ad happens. So I'm, we're, I'm just... <laughs> I think that's how it works. I never run f ads on this fucking thing. So the only time I ever do it is when somebody in the stream mentions it because I always fucking forget. So we got 17 sevens a lot. This, this, is, this is funny. D. White goes, fucking Mike. <laughs> oh, he see, he's not subbed. So he's like pissed right now. Uh, oh, heck, Uva says he sees no ads. Oh, okay. Well, I don't fucking know. All right, it should be it should be over. <laughs> no ad here, and I'm not using ad block. Says ill D's. Did anybody see an ad? Did anybody even get an ad? Every, all the people that are not subbed are saying that they didn't even see one. So people, you didn't get you didn't even see one anyway. Didn't even work. Oh no, Master Rom said they did. Hamster Dam said that he got two ads. Oh, okay. If you already watch the ad, then you won't see it. I say. Well, sometimes that's how you know ads work. Once that once the ad plays, it'll only play, play so many times. What the fuck? What a dumbass would want an ad? Said Analog 1975. <laughs> Analog 1975. I could run an ad just specifically for you. No, but he's subbed, so he wouldn't see it anyway. Anyway, uh, wait, is this back up? All right, so anyway, we're playing uh, Border Down for Dreamcast. Let's get back to the game. So I just wanted to talk to you guys for a minute about that because um, also there was a quote from, I guess, the guy, one of the guys involved in the Dreamcast or some, something like that. I, I forget forget his name. But uh, basically that there there's interest out there um, or, they're, or they're thinking about you know, possibly doing either the SG-1000 Mini or the Dreamcast Mini. And I, I, I laughed when I read about the SG-1000 Mini. I'm like, does anybody know about the SG-1000 other than, like, you know, like, really hardcore, like, you know, gamer people? Because at this point, because most people, like, that was not a very... I mean, I have one, but... Not a lot of people, I've never even bought, streamed that yet. And that's a very rare system. It's like, it, like that would be a cool thing. Um, but kind of, but what, I guess what I'm saying is it would be kind of like niche. Um, but Dreamcast, like everybody fucking knows Dreamcast. So I feel like that would be the one people, people really want. And also I'm pretty sure more people had Dreamcast than had the Sega Saturn, right? So like, Dreamcast is probably the one that they should do if they're gonna if they're gonna do another one for Sega. Um, personally, if if I could pick, I would actually pick Saturn, uh, Sega Saturn o over that because of the fact that the Saturn games are very expensive. Um, I definitely definitely think a, a Saturn one would would be would be a really good idea. But we'll see what they do. Oh, 
fuck me. I don't know, even know if I, I don't feel like I haven't even seen this boss before. Have I? <laughs> I don't even remember this fucking thing. Oh, nice. Oh, is it blowing up? Is that it? I guess so. Okay. Oh, wait. Is it not over? Shit. What? Oh, my God. I've never seen this before. This is my first time seeing this. Fuck. I should have held down the fucking thing. Do I have another? Oh, my God, I do. I, am I going to get crushed? Does that background touch me? Oh, it doesn't. All right. Shit. Oh, my God. Dude, I don't even know what's... Fuck. That's the first time I've ever even seen that. I thought those things were gonna crush me. <laughs> so I guess that's the furthest I made it. I've never seen that thing before. Mike, I will remind you when it's time for an ad again. Thank you. It says cave job. Cave job. That can be that can be your job every. No, I don't want to run ads very often, but I mean, I could run one, one, one. I think you know here and there, but I never fucking remember to do it. So there you go. And you can all blame, uh, what's his name, Cave Job, for whenever the thing comes up. You can all just yell at him. <laughs> See, now I have a specific person to blame it on. You know the SG-1000 is like ColecoVision? Yeah, basically. Pretty much. What does running ads do, says Benomical? Uh, it gets me paid. A, like, a small amount of money. <laughs> you could just give me mo the money, says not MSG free. He goes, ah, nice. What did you think the ads do? You remember Border Down had chill music? Yeah, it's it's cool. You really didn't know? Well, you really don't know? So, ba so I mean, so basically how it works, if you go on YouTube and you, you got all those ads there on YouTube, the people who do YouTube all the time or do it for a living, uh, who are lucky enough to do it for a living, you get paid because of the ads. So you either have the ads that run on YouTube that are um, just the ads that YouTube puts in there, which are usually very low paying ads. They used to be a little better, but the last several years they've been really terrible. So to counteract that, what you have to do is you get brand deals. So brand deals are where it's like, where it's like me and I'm like, hey everybody, uh, spring, spring water. You should, you should all have some of this spring water here. Cause let me tell you this. Oh, hang on a second. Mmm. This particular kind of water is the best water in the entire world. You should get it because you watch me and I'm telling you to get it. So obviously you, you watch me all the time. You must trust me, right? <laughs> so you drink this water. I swear it's not filled with acid or anything. I swear, I swear it won't kill you. So it's basically like that. <laughs> Um, but then it pays like 50 times more, so it's great. But you no, know, brand deals have been around forever. Um, I used to, so when I was a kid, I'd watch uh, Johnny Carson, and you know, Johnny Carson would be doing his thing. They'd have like Burt Reynolds out there, or whatever, and the Johnny Car Carson's like, oh, stop the show, because right now we gotta talk about the Nintendo 64 Donkey Kong Edition. The Nintendo 64 Donkey Kong Edition is the greatest new Nintendo, or whatever. It would be like a fucking thing of soap or something. He wouldn't be talking about the N64, but. Um, Whatever, and then that's how you get. That's how you get paid. Cause if you if you specifically have, or it would be like, um, what do they used to have? Like uh, fucking Wilford Brimley for oatmeal or whatever the fuck. You get these celebrities to do this shit. It's um, whatever. They're brand deals, so you put them in video, so you can actually get paid. Now we all wouldn't have to have the brand deals if YouTube, if their ads were better. 
but the ads are not great. So then you, then in comes the brand deals so that everybody can actually get paid and, and continue to do this. Because if you don't have the ads and if you don't have the brand deals, then the people don't get paid. And guess what? If we don't get paid, there's not going to be any fucking videos. So there needs to be the brand deals. So that's how that works. Have you guys heard of this new awesome game, Raid Shadow Legends? Oh, I have. Let me tell you about Raid Shadow Legends. I love Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is the greatest game ever that I've ever played in my entire life. And um, I, I love it more than anything in the world. Uh, anything I can think of. Literally, it's the greatest thing. Other than this water here that I was just talking about a minute ago. And you should, uh, you should get that. <laughs> Can you sm <laughs> Oh, I don't. So, uh, KGL, so I wouldn't anyway. I see you, Hopeful Dreams. I, what was your comment? Let, let me go back. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He said, uh, so, sorry, so he donated bits, and I'm sorry. There's a million comments here, so it's hard to get them all. Mike, if you install Streamlabs, you get more donations. Like, I'm only eight bucks in bits here and I'm already a donator okay well yeah I don't know well yeah you're gonna have to remind me to do that because I forget I <laughs> see I'm more interested like I'm just I like I'm on here I'm like thinking about the game honestly so before I'm streaming I'm like all right what game am I gonna play what's the topic gonna be I want, I want the quality of the video quality to be like really good because before it was all interlaced and now it's de-interlaced. So I want it to be, I'm thinking about the game and what I'm gonna talk about with you guys, really. Um, so I forget. So let, remind me once in a while. I need you guys to remind me to, to shill things more often and, and, uh, and run ads more often because I hardly remember. There, what, can I, what else can I shill? There's a, uh, there's, we got a video game. Go get that. <laughs> go, get, go get it. <laughs> For a, how, how would that be for a brand deal? A, uh, I don't know what would it be for. How about for like uh, if somebody wants me to, to promote the new uh, uh, I don't know what uh, the new what's the new thing that people are buying right now? I don't fucking know. Blu-rays. I don't know if I fucking know. Give me something new that people are buying. <laughs> I don't even know. Blu-ray. Sure, sure. The new. Um, Elf. Remember that Elf movie? The new Elf Blu-ray just came out. Go, go get that. that that's that's how I I do the brand deals. I'm like, you should go get it. It's it's great. Go get it. Always maxi pads. They said. Good. I think you should get always maxi pads. <laughs> Have Inspector Gadget do it. There you go. Exactly. You like how I immediately had to go to Inspector Gadget for that? It just doesn't that seem natural? I think my version of Inspector Gadget should be the host or the not the host. What the hell's the name of it? The the do a commercial, whatever the fuck, brand deal for always maxi pads. Always maxi pads are the greatest maxi pads, and they can just send me a script. I'll say read whatever shit they want me to read. Just send the script. I'll read it. Be like, always maxi pads are the greatest maxi pads for using other than whatever. Blah blah blah. And I just do, I just do that. And then and then you get the check in the mail. It's great. <laughs> Spokesperson. Thank you. See, words are hard. Thank you. That was the word I was looking for. I, I'll, I'll be the Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget can be the spokesperson for maxi pads. Anyway, oh wait, uh, Tall Moron says, "Hi Mike, just joined. How did reduce interlacing in the stream?" Uh, Frame Meister, how I did do that? I did do that because Frame Meister. Mike sponsors flashlights. Yes, I'll sponsor pretty much anything. Um, s send me flashlights. I will. I will demonstrate them for you all. <laughs> I say, Inspector Gadget will too. And uh, here is the new flashlight by 
who makes flashlights? What is there a specific company? Is it Bethesda? Does Bethesda make the flashlight? <laughs> <laughs> who makes them? I don't even know. Somebody, who, who, what's the company that does them? Or is there multiple ones? I don't know. Doesn't Border Down run fine in 480p mode? <laughs> <laughs> don't be talking about, we're busy. Do you hear the conversation we're having right now? Jesus. Talking about the game. The hell do you think this is? It's Bethesda, yes, they said. Okay, Bethesda. Oh, LJN does butt plugs. Um, doesn't border down run fine in 40p mode? Does don't need to run it in 40i? I do. I don't. I don't know. All I know is I got the interlacing to look a little better. This is probably about as good as I'm gonna get it until I get my Dreamcast modded, which I'll do that eventually. But right now I'm getting like my GameCube modded. I'm getting another NES modded. I'm getting all these fucking things modded. So well, one thing at a fucking time. I can only do so much here. <laughs> God damn it. Like, no, God damn it. We want this too. All right, I'm going to play another round of the game now, and we're gonna get off the subject of whatever the fuck we're talking about, because I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. KT cleans a lot, says this is the very best way to be spending my Wednesday morning, LOL. What, by, by watching ads on my channel? I could, I could run another one right now. I'll, I'll click it. I'll click it. If you're not careful, I'll click it. I'm not going to click it. I'm going to play some more Border Down. Here we go. <laughs> How is the GameCube being modded? Uh, I can fix the laser in it and a bunch of different things. Bunch of, bunch of shit. I'll talk about it when I get it. It'll probably be several months. Because I'm on a waiting list. Inspector Gadget does modded maxi pads. Does he? I figured he did. He'd be good at modding because he is a cyborg. He knows all about that shit. Anyway, let's see if I can get any further. But yeah, that would be actually... I feel like that that would might maybe would be the best mini that they could do. Honestly, is the is the Sega Saturn because the games are so expensive. Anything with actually, you know what would, would be great is um, there's so many arcade games that are just like kind of lost to time that you can only play on like emulators and shit. I feel like I feel I feel like there should be a company that specifically focuses on finding arcade games that haven't been ported, but like obscure stuff. Cause I, I know that there's people already doing that. Like M M2 does that for like shmups and other stuff. But I mean like a, a, like a new company that's just like, oh, our job is we're just gonna find old random ass obscure arcade games and we're gonna port them to consoles. And like games that you probably like never even fucking heard, like heard of that aren't by like famous companies or anything like that. Just like random like shit. Because so many arcade games are, are just like, you know, obscure and never made, never got like home ports and stuff. I just ho hope all the games that never got good ports get, get ported eventually basically, I guess is my point. But I, I'm happy that there are companies that are, are you know, doing that. I, I feel I just feel like there should be more. But I'm uh, but I'm glad that it, it it happens. I hope the trend continues. They probably won't make a, a bunch of money if they're that obscure. Yeah, but it depends how you like market it like I think people would be interested for example like a long time ago I did a video that was like top 10 obscure NES gems right like I do videos like that and it's like if you have a thing come out uh, or you have or let's say um, 
how it would work exactly. So, like, you have, like, a company that gets known for just porting obscure games, but then you could just go to a page, like, maybe it's on Steam or something, and be like, oh, they ported, like these 20 games or something or these 30 games that are just obscure arcade games and then they, and then you put them out in a package and then it's like oh get these you know 30 obscure games but what i mean is you don't just port anything that's obscure you find like obscure gems so it's like oh my god there's all these awesome like lost arcade games that i didn't know about and now here they are ported to whatever switch or playstation or something like that i don't know When is it going to be Donkey Kong 64 time? Um, I don't know. Whenever you decide to turn the game on. You can you can just uh, get the game for yourself if you don't already have it. But if you have it, you could uh, put it, pop it into your Nintendo 64. And you could you could be playing it right now. You don't even you don't have to watch this stream. You could go play Donkey Kong 64. So honestly, right right now, right now, Donkey Kong 64 could happen for you. If you if you own it, and now I don't know that uh, I don't know if that that ever got a port on anything other than N64. I guess <laughs> did they ever put Donkey Kong 64 onto anything other than the the original thing? She made it through that part. Never make it through that part. Actually made it through that. He says you got pwned. I like that you're still using the word pwned. Peanut butter jelly time. Wow, you're bringing that back. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. We find that. Let's see peanut butter jelly time. Hold up. Peanut butter jelly time. And eight says peanut butter jelly time. Yeah, wow, going back in time, Bo boomer humor. Yeah, 2008. Okay, is that is that boomer? I, I like that. I like that that's considered old enough to be a boomer thing. Yeah, so I grew up with the Atari 2600, and I would play, like, um, Space Invaders in the arcade when I was a kid. But, yeah, let, let's talk about how peanut butter jelly time is a boomer thing. The fuck, man? Millennial humor from 2008. I See, that would be more accurate, I would say. You played NES. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I like that comment. This was like, dude's just like, I played NES. That's my new favorite comment in my streams. I played NES. Did you now? I wouldn't expect somebody to be in one of my streams that's played NES. That's crazy. Have you? Have you really? Holy shit. Oh, I, oh, you can back up into that? Well, that's fucked, motherfucker. You can fucking back up into the fucking th wall fucking thing? Come on, son of a fuck. All right, well, now I know that, I guess. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. Aggressively. Whoa.
Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Boomer humor, Mike. What is this boomer shit? The boomer thing, it's so overdone now. Oh my god. I was in a fucking store and there was a, um, like, I think it was like a skateboard or something that said, uh, oh, like, that said, okay, boomer. You, you know, when you go to the fucking mall and they're selling merchandise that says, okay, boomer, y y your, your phrase is fucking done for. Boom. Mike's Gen X, right? Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Millennial Gen X, who fucking cares? <laughs> you like it when an older millennial gets called a boomer? You think that what bothers you the most about ports of old games is that they want you to rebuy the same games on each new console that comes out. I'd rather just stick with my computer for emulating games that don't have the physical copies of. Yeah, um... A lot of emulation has, like, lag, though. And some of the companies that port this stuff do really, do, like, really, really good jobs porting it. So, the question kind of comes down to quality, I would say. But I mean, you're not, you're not wrong there in probably a lot of instances. Pro probably doing that is, is enough for many people. made it through that. I'm starting to know these levels a little bit better. shot. I like how they do that in between the areas. This part freaks me out with all the laser beams in the background. I always feel like those are coming for me. Coming to get you, Barbara. Nice. Oof. Oh, I just hit it. Fuck. Border down. What's up, Sutan? myself. Okay. Is 
Do 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 do. Nice, fill it up. So that fills up my extra laser meter thing, laser level. My laser, my laser level has been replenished. Laser level. Level one. Fucker. Ooh, camera angles. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go. Come on, you son of a bitch. Motherfucker! Don't, okay. This shit, this shit, this shit. I just use that shit to keep myself alive. I don't know what to do on that part. Whoa! That's a great reaction. Fuck. Oh, God, die already. There he goes. Now, now he does the second thing, though, right? Or whatever. Oh, this red shit comes in. This is that same guy, right? Yeah. But I can I can fly over that shit, which I didn't know before. God. Holy shit. Fuck! Please die, motherfucker. Motherfucker! Fuck! All right, well, this is the guy I can't fucking get past. God damn it. Have I heard of Cindy Mora? Yeah, I have. I have it on some different systems. Thank you, Sutan124, for the sub. You get the quality aspect, but you feel like it's a cheap money grab if you bought the game multiple times on each of Nintendo's consoles. Well, I mean, that's your choice too, though. If, you, if you've already bought the game several times, it's your choice whether or not you want to buy it a, a second or a third time because the quality might be different or something like that. Um, so you can just not buy it. Like, if you've already, already, let's say you bought it on Wii U or something like that, just play it on Wii U if you don't want the new version, you know? That's kind of on you. Because you don't have to buy it. They're just releasing a different version because maybe be like, oh, well, this version has this aspect or this version has this, you know? It's for people that want it. Yeah, oh, wait, he's saying you should be able to carry that person's purchased license over. Um, yeah, but yeah, if they're adding new things, though, the, here's the thing about that. So if they're adding, let's say it's like Gr Gradius or something, and you bought it on like Wii U, let's say, but then they release it on the Switch, you know, eight years later or something like that, if it's the same exact fucking game, then I probably agree with you. But if they do th shit different to it, like if there's like a team of people that had to work on the new version, um, and you know what? Also, simply porting a game to a system costs money. Like, you, like 
you can't just like be like, oh, I'm gonna take it from the NES and throw it on the, you know, or I'm gonna take it from Saturn and throw it on the Switch. Like some somebody has to make it work. So somebody has to get paid to do that. So it's kind of like you can't like just because you spent ten dollars on a game in 2004 doesn't mean in 2020 that it, it's it's kind of like you know somebody new got paid to do that they need to get like paid to do that i get what you're saying though but especially on top of it if if they've added new features uh, like an example is there's a new um game uh that just came out uh, that's a ver new version of an old game. Uh, so M2 did Ketsui Destiny, which is a new version of um, an older game from like 2002, I think. Uh, Ketsui, some somewhere around there, early 2000s, I think. So they added a new mode to the old game. So it's like somebody had to make that part of it. So it's kind of like, you know. Anyway, it's a good it's a good discussion though. It's Aku Dezu says, "Man, I love this game so much. It is fucking brutal." Yeah, it's uh, I'm having trouble with this one boss with the lasers and shit, but it's uh, I I love this game. It's like phenomenal, I think. Mike is right about that port. An actual port requires work. Yeah. But I mean, I, I know I know what you're saying though. It's like if if you like how many uh, on the other side of it, it's like how many times can you buy the same game over and over? It's like if I bought Gradius on a uh, virtual console for Wii or something. Then do I gotta buy it again on Wii U? Then I then I gotta buy it again on Switch, or then I gotta or I know what they do on the Nintendo Switch. They have a they have this service that you're paying whatever the monthly service is for the Nintendo Switch like online thing. So um, you 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 pay for that and then you get all this stuff free and maybe that's included in that. But then you're you are you are kind of paying for the game still though because you're paying for the service the only reason you buy the service is to play the games so it's kind of like you know or just keep playing your older playstations well so as far and then with the older systems it's like your old system might break or as time goes on let's say that you got your playstation in 1999 but now you want to play um, a game that you don't have, well, you're going to buy the game. You could go be like, oh, well, I'll buy the game off of eBay or at a convention or something like that. And then you'd be like, oh, the game is $150 because it's really rare now. Or would you rather have it get released on the Nintendo Switch and it costs, you know, $7 or something like that? So it's like, it, it depends, you know? There's a lot of factors. You'd rather have the old one? Well, I mean, I'd rather have the old one, too. But what if the old game is, you know... Like, I have, for example, I have uh, that game, Genga Fukai Densetsu Sapphire. I have a real copy of that game. That, it's like a $1,000 game. Or, do you want to pay the $1,000? Or do you want to, like, have it be released on the Nintendo Switch for, like, $5 or something like that? It's like, most people are not going to spend a lot of money, you know, to buy a game like that, so... You, you just asked to borrow mine? Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Sure. We'll just lend it around. I don't know. What do you think? Rebuy Super Mario Brothers until you die in debt and bankruptcy. And that debt is passed on to your next again. Yeah, now that, now that one though, Super Mario Brothers is like, that one I think is fucking bullshit. Like, like Mario and Zelda. Um, so, like some games, you know, like I feel like the Ketsui one could be worth it because it's like they added new modes and they, they made it work nice and all that. 
that's one where I feel like that that one's fine. But like Super Mario Brothers, it's like if you bought that fucking game on the Wii, then yeah, I think it should. I should think that that should carry over to the Switch. Now though, the only thing, like I just said, it does cost money to be able to have somebody port it onto the Switch. They don't just magically throw it on there. But I mean when you like when you buy Super Mario Brothers on the Wii, I feel like for that there should be like a lifetime thing for that. So it's like if you buy this game right now on the Nintendo Wii on all our future consoles, you will get regular ass Super Mario Brothers. And they don't do anything like that and I do th- think that that's kind of bullshit. But if they change something about it, then I think then you have to buy it again. Like if they make like um, a new mode, like they have that new thing now that's uh, what is that Mario 35th or something like that? Like that's Mario but it's like a whole new game. Like that you got to pay for cuz they had to like make that. But um but I d- definitely do think that there's certain things that sh- that should care like the license should carry over but th- they don't do that so thank you dan evil robot for the sub little samson on switch would be nice they exactly they should put that on there well, it's another one i have little samson um very expensive game and like there's no reason like they like they, I feel like they should be focusing on games like that. And also, there's another one that's called um, uh, like Euphoria, right? Isn't that they're that game? And that game's really good. I, I mean, I don't think that's on there, right? But any of those games that are really expensive but also good, they should. I feel like they should be focusing on getting those games on there before they put out like the Immortal. If you turn on your Sw- Nintendo Switch right now and you go to the NES store, there's the fucking the Immortal is on there. The Immortal is on there for NES, but not Little Samson. What the fuck is that all about? The order in which they're putting these games out is fucking stupid. You brought your PS1 down the stairs and then it stopped working? What, did you drop it down the stairs? <laughs> Some ports on Switch slash PS4 run a lot worse than original versions. Take Zero Gun or 2, for example. Example. Yeah, you know what? I was playing the Switch version of Zero Gunner 2 and I actually also felt like it was laggy. Um, because a lot of people were like, "Oh, Zero Gunner on the Switch," or, or no, uh, no, what was I playing that was laggy? But maybe it wasn't Zero Gunner. It might have been Rolling. There was like another one, Rolling Gunner. One of those ones was fucking laggy as shit. And I was like, "This," uh, and everybody's like, "Oh, this game's so good." And I play it, and it's like fucking laggy as shit. And I'm like, "All right, it's not that great to me." Bucky O'Hare, I don't know if you can get cheap, but it should be on Switch. And, and a lot of those games, you're not going to get like a lot of those fucking great games like Batman, Ninja Turtles, Bucky O'Hare. I think that there should be two tiers to the fucking thing. There should be tier one, you pay however much it is and then if you buy the more expensive tier two which is maybe a dollar or two more or something like that then you can get like licensed games and then they use that little bit of extra money to license out games like you get like the it would be like two different packages it's like do you want like the the shitty package or the good package basically and the good package has like all the games including the licensed one but they don't d- decide to do that either because god forbid they go through the work to like contact the fucking companies hey hey uh whoever owns the fuck that now hey dc we're gonna cut you uh, this much so we can put batman on the nes and then and then dc gets paid but they're not doing any of that and they should be doing that but god forbid Zero Gunner 2 is a bit laggy, but the bigger problem is it's a lot easier than the Dreamcast port. Okay. 
See, I, I think I put that on. I'm pretty sure, and it was um, it was lagging on me. So I just like turned it off because I was like, I'm not gonna play it all fucking laggy. Mega Man Classic Collection was laggy on Switch, was it? PS4 and PC, but runs great on Xbox for some reason. Yeah, I remember, I think I played that on Steam, like the PC version of it, and I feel like that one, wait, what did you say, PS4 and PC, but it runs great on Xbox? I, th I felt like mine worked well on PC from when I played it. I don't remember having a problem with that, but maybe it did, I don't, I don't know. I played it a long time ago. Anyway, all right, let's give this another another go. This is Border Down. See if I can ever get by this boss. Mega Man plugs buttholes. Does he? Which power up does he use to do that? Metal Blade? Bubble? Bubble spray or whatever it's called? No, that's uh, Sailor Mercury. Bubble spray! With this, there's never an opportunity. That's my opportunity to look over, I guess. Sailor Mercury was your favorite Sailor Scout. She's the sexy, nerdy one. Uh, she's my least favorite, actually. Well, as far as like the five go, actually, my least favorite is Sailor uh, uh, Uranus, and not because of the, her name. I just find the character really fucking annoying. But uh, I also don't. I don't like Sailor Mercury. I don't mind how Sailor Mercury looks. But, um, like, as far as the character design, fuck. But, um, she's really fucking annoying because she's always like, oh, I gotta go to cram school. I gotta go to cram school. Eh, I gotta study. And they're all like, yeah, we, well, we wanna, like, go out tonight. We, we're, we're always studying. We'd like to, like, party tonight. Just, just tonight. She's like, no, I'm gonna go to cram school. Eh. I'll tell you where you can fucking cram it. Like, shut the fuck up. We get it. You're smart, and you study all day. I think she's really fucking annoying, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. So I don't like Sailor Mercury. Character design is fine. I also, the other thing I don't like about her is, is her attack, the bubble spray thing, because it goes like this. They, so they all have, like, a move that they do. Like, uh... A uh, uh, fucking... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of what the other ones are. Like Sail Sailor Mars is, uh, um, I, f I forget what she fucking says. But anyway, the one, the one that um, Sailor Mercury does, she goes, bubble spray, and the pause in like is so fucking long, like it's way too long of a pause. It should be like this, bubble spray. Not bubble. Spray! It's like, fuck you. Fuck you and your bubble spray. <laughs> we can't all spray on command. <laughs> there you go. We got a stand-up comedian in the chat. Everybody's a fucking comedian in here. Why? Wh what's so fucking funny? Mm. 
motherfuckers. Oh, fucking shit. I looked over at the chat. I cannot fucking look over in, with this. I should just start over. I'm starting over. I don't get, like, one fucking second. I have to, like... I always think there's that second where the screen transitions from one part of the game to the other where I can, like, glance over at the chat really quick so I can fucking read what your guys are saying, but... No. I, like, literally, I, I have to just pause it if I'm gonna look over. Speaking of Batman, are you going to play Batman Returns for Sega Genesis? Uh, it's a great platforming like game, different than the SNES version. Um, Batman Returns? I know the Batman Returns on Master System and Super Nintendo, but the Genesis one? Uh, may, I don't know, maybe? I have to take a look at that, because I played regular Batman on Genesis, which was okay. And... Uh, Adventures of Batman and Robin I think is fantastic I beat that a few months ago on stream that, that game's really really good um, great like run and gun kind of thing um, but yeah the Genesis Batman the ben Genesis Batman Returns I, I might have like popped that on I, I've done like EverDrive streams I don't like recall that one off the top of my head but there's, there's so many different versions of Batman games that it's hard to keep track of all of them. But, uh... Can you use that stick for all Dreamcast games? Well, the thing is, I've played other Dreamcast games with it, and I like playing this game with, with the Dreamcast arcade stick. But, um... I was playing, I think it was, um, oh no, I think it was Under Defeat I was playing, and the way that game works, in Under Defeat, you're like, it's like top-down view, and you have like a helicopter, and you can kind of turn your helicopter like left and right, kind of, and the way it controlled with an arcade stick I didn't like it as much as using a regular like D-pad. For me personally, other people might, you know, be fine with the arcade stick. I, I just I, I with under defeat, I'd rather just use a regular controller. I think. So I found it to be a little weird. Yes, it worked. Like you can, but uh, I didn't find my pre preference to be to be to use the arcade stick for that. But for this, I think it's it's pretty good. So I mean, that's just like a personal. I fucking died already. Personal preference, I guess. I, I gotta get in the habit of actually fucking pausing. Do you play those very bad full motion video games on Sega CD? I don't. Um, at, at, at all. Um, I don't really like them. I never did. I didn't like them when they originally came, came out, because I'm old. I remember when they were actually out, and I wasn't interested in them when they came out, and I'm not interested in them now. I've never been interested in them. Um, I just think that they're not fun, and I don't care about them. I've tried a bunch of them, and I just, I can't, I can't get, I don't know, I can't get into it. Like, those games are not for me at all. Uh, some people play them. I don't know, full motion video games are not my thing. Zero. Oh, did that save myself? Damn it! 
I fucking hate that part. I feel like the... When, when you do this and you tap and, and do this shit, I feel like sometimes... Now, right now, they're coming out like fucking crazy. But when the screen is dropping on that area, I feel like these things come out very fucking slowly. It's probably no different. But it seems like very slow on that part. And it's, fr it's very frustrating. Oh, oh, it's this here. It's this again. So it didn't like drop me to the next thing. God. Fuck! Hate that fucking part. Is it gonna skip me to the next fucking area? Now it does. Now that I've died fucking ten times. Fuck that. Fucking piss now. <laughs> Damn it. Were you a fan of Sewer Shark for Sega CD? No. I like, um, um, Lords of Thunder on Sega CD. The Mickey Mouse game was kind of alright. Uh, Lords of Thunder rocks. Yeah, it's good. What's up, Sold Moon Doggy? I should play Mega Man 8 bit deathmatch. Is that like a PC thing? Well, what kind of game is it? It sounds like it's a fighting game. It's a Doom mod, is it? Oh wait, it's a Doom mod? Maybe I would try it then. Thank you very much for the raid, Aaron. Corpse Killer 32X stream. A lot of 32X talk today. They had a great version of Final Fight as well on Sega CD. I don't know if I've played the Final Fight on Sega CD. I should actually try that. And then also there's... Um, I remember the Terminator game on Sega CD, I think is a pretty good version, right? Um, so, I mean, there's stuff that I like on Sega CD. Just, uh, I, I'm just not big into the full motion video stuff. Thunder was also on Turbo Graphics CD. No, I know. PC Engine CD. I, I have it on that. I've streamed it on that. I don't think I actually. I, I need to uh, stream that and actually beat it. I made it to the last guy. I remember. This was like years ago. I didn't. I didn't actually beat it. I need to come back and actually beat it. But that, I was having trouble with that last guy. I think. Is it funny? I still remember that. <laughs> have I tried the Cobra Kai game yet? No. I have not. I like the show, though.
this fucking part right here gives me a very hard time. Nice, all right, very nice. <laughs> Laughing at my own impressions now. Aha, that Borat impression, huh? Now I know that you can slam into these fucking walls. I hate this part. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Please, 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 please. Okay, good. And let's go through. Go, 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 go. Good. Now don't back up into this wall. Okay. Now I know that. It's important to know. Jesus Christ. And then this dude. Okay, here we go. yet <laughs> the laser that movie does is horrible okay he's going down to the bottom now the laser thing on the bottom if it's flashing laser all the way down to the fucking ground there so it's a good thing I used I had the my laser to use my laser level thank you Oreo for the tier one sub I appreciate it for four months he says here's to some good retro fuck 7 a.m. and you haven't gone to bed yet I, I got up like three hours ago, so I'm good. Have I collected Bionicle? No. I don't even remember what that is. Isn't that like a Lego thing or something? Like, I don't, I don't even know what that is. That's, that's some kind of building thing, right? Or maybe it's not. I don't fucking know. What's my favorite shmup? Yours is R-Type 3, third lightning. R-Type 3 is good. Oh, a Glay Lancer. Glay Lancer is cool. Um, those are good. Those are good picks. Um, those are definitely good picks. R-Type 3 isn't, um, I think, I, I want to say I like R-Type, I, I think I like R-Type Delta quite a bit, as far as R-Type goes, but anyway, um, favorite shmups, yeah, the thing is with favorite shmups is there's so many out there. And so many that I haven't even gotten to, but of, of ones that I've played, um, usually like answer. 
I get that because I play a lot of shmups, and people ask that. Um, it's not like an answer that I really like to give because I feel like even though I played as much as I have, um, I feel like there's it's such a big genre of games that fuck. Damn it! What happened there? That uh. It's a hard thing to answer, but of stuff that I played, uh, Gradius Five is definitely up there in terms of ones I think of that's re that are really good. Um, this this one that I'm playing right now is great. Um, um, and we mentioned Lords of Thunder before. Lords of Thunder is fantastic. Uh, I mean, there's there's well, there's a lot. There's there's so many. Good ones. I remember I really liked the uh, Cho Ren Sha when I played that. I thought that that one was pretty excellent. I like Dragon Blaze. I don't know if you ever played Dragon Blaze. That's a that's a really fucking good one. I, I love that one. Um, that's probably up there for me. Uh, well, that one's available on the Switch as well, by the way. Um, now. Dragon Blaze. That, like, I think that game's phenomenal. It's fucking hard, but, uh, it's good. I recently played, uh, what was it called? Jam Jamestown? That was a pretty good one. I um, probably wouldn't put that on my list of, like, absolute favorites, but that, that was a very good one. What is your favorite Pokemon if you have one? Uh, you, know, yeah, you know, as you guys know, I'm not really too into Pokemon. Um, but, uh, but I mean, I, I like Pokemon a little bit. Uh, um, I, I used to play uh, Pokemon Stadium when I was in college. Damn. A little bit here and there. And I always liked the mini game on that with Licky Tongue. And you, I think you were eating like sushi. And back then, I got an, an endless kick out of Licky, Licky Tongue. Uh, so I, I always liked him a lot. Um, and then I remember seeing the, the Pokemon movie in 2000. And I thought the, the short in the beginning, Pikachu's Vacation, was really funny to me. And I liked uh, some of the sort of cutscenes that were in that. And I think it was, uh, I want to say it was like, fucking shit, uh, Snorlax or something. Snorlax comes on screen at one point and he's like, Arr! it might, it might be him, but I, I, I kind of like it for it's like how absolutely ridiculous they can be. Like if you go watch that Pokemon, uh, Pikachu's Vacation, it's called. It's probably on YouTube. You can watch it. The cutscenes in between, like the transitions in Pikachu's Vacation, are probably my favorite thing about Pokemon. There's one with Jigglypuff. It's like, Jig, Jiggly, Jigglypuff, Jiggly, Jigglypuff. That was another thing I thought was so funny that eventually, when we started doing the nerd show, I recommended that to James because uh, he, he wanted to do a thing on do the Doom thing, and we did a couple little short things, and they were called um, Nerd Quote of the Weeks we were doing, and they were just like really short things, and I was like, oh, you got you should do the Pokemon thing because I thought it was really funny. So one, one or two of those is, is from that. It's just like the nerd's reaction to, to those, those th scenes. But... I kind of so I I like the really ridiculous shit. Um, that's kind of I feel like what my favorite part of Pokemon is, is is the shit that just makes absolutely fucking no sense, and it's just like what the fuck am I even looking at? I like that shit as far as like what's happening. But as far as characters, I I I'd probably answer Lick it, Licky Tongue or um, in Smash Brothers I'll use. Pikachu, I mean, that's about, that's as basic of the answers you can get. Uh, I, I also, as far as, like, some more basic answers, like, uh, I liked, um, I like, like Charmander, um, I always like Charmander, but, uh, my, my thing with that is, like, I only know the old guys, like, the 151, or one, you know, 
I know, like, I know them pretty well. Uh, but it's, once you get beyond that, I don't know anything. Well, I shouldn't say that, I guess, because I did, I used to play Pokemon Go a little bit, and sometimes, you you know, you catch ones from other generations and shit, so I, I guess I started to learn other characters. Um, but really, the, the 151 are the ones that I, that I knew about, and I had that um, chart and the Tommy toys and all that stuff, so I mean, I've had a little bit of a history, I guess, with, with the Pokemon stuff, and um, there was that CD, po Pokemon to be a Masta, <laughs> I, I remember listening to that, it was kind of funny, uh, so, but overall, like, um, I know I just said a lot, so probably, fuck, I was going to say, it make, probably makes me sound like I'm into it more than I am, but I'm really not into it, um, I, I think I just listed off about everything that I know about Pokemon, <laughs> for the most part. Uh, so it's just not, it's never really been my thing. But I, I mean, I like it enough, it's fine. Shit. See, you know what I'm thinking, like, I think what I would really like is like, if there was a different type of Pokemon game, um, I know, like, for example, like, I, you know, I like, well, I used to play Smash Brothers, and I like to play Smash Brothers, so I'd play Pikachu in Smash Brothers. So, like, if they had other styles of games, I'm, I'm literally, I, made it, I keep making it to this guy and fucking dying. This is, like, this is where I'm getting stuck on this fucking dude. Um, if they made other types of games um and i know didn't isn't there like a baseball one like strikers or something like that or i don't fucking know but i don't know i'm not like too into the games what is your favorite digimon i don't know if anything about that it's like the other pokemon thing <laughs> that's not pokemon it's like another thing that's like that i have known fucking nothing about it but this is my experience with Digimon. I walk into like a store and I look over and there's like a bunch of cards and I'm like, what the fuck is that it's shit? That's as much as I know about that. Have I ever played a mobile game? I have. You want, you want to know a really good mobile game? Um, where's my water? Is a good mobile game with the alligator, and you're drawing lines in the dirt to get the water to go to certain paths. And another one I really like is um, Ding Dong XL, um, where the ball is going from the top and the bottom of the screen, sc screen, and you're trying to avoid things. It's almost like a Pong type of thing, but it's really fun. That's a good mobile game. Um, and... The best one of all time, though, is Raid Shadow Legends. I love Raid Shadow Legends more than I love my own life. <laughs> Since you enjoy it in Advanced Wars, don't forget Wargroove is very similar. I, I've streamed Wargroove before. You're not sure you want to download something called Ding Dong XL? Why not? It's good. It's a good fucking game. I keep getting stuck on this fucking boss. I'm gonna try it again, see if I can make it there. And I just feel like if I can get there and like do better getting there and have more like lives before I get there, then I'll beat them if I have enough lives to get through them. I feel like that's the only way I'm gonna do it. If I can get there like without dying, I'll probably fucking beat him. Oof. Dunvar, I have not yet, but I want to. Have you ever thought about streaming from the center of a break 
room, like sitting down with a bat, leaning up against the chair and playing a game that really pisses you off so you can stand up and swing around for the fences. When you said playing in a break room, I thought you meant, like, at an office building when people go on break. I think that that would be better. It's like, you're, you know, people with, like, office cubicles at their desk jobs. And then you just have me, like, with my streaming setup, with my, like, five different monitors. How many monitors do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. With my six different monitors. And I'm sitting there. I got all my gaming shit. And then the dude walks in with his, like, cup of coffee. And he's like, uh, I gotta get to the fridge. And I'm like, well, you're not, you can try to go around the back of my computer, but I'm streaming right now. Like, you can't be talking. I can't have no noise. I'm trying to stream. Like, my chat needs to hear the video game. And you you came in and you interrupted me. He's like, but I work here. I'm like, I don't care if you fucking work here. I'm just playing Dreamcast right now, and I want my chat to be able to hear the sound effects and the music and everything. I didn't spend all this time setting it up with the fucking Frame Meister for you to come in and be like, oh, I need a donut, I need a donut. So why don't you walk your ass out of the break room, go down the street to Dunkin' Donuts or wherever the fuck you go, mom and pop shop, I don't care. Just get the fuck out of my break room, I'm doing a stream. Do you see the fucking sign I put on the fucking door there? It says, Mike Mate Live, streaming now, don't come in. Did you happen to read that? No, you didn't. Because you know why? Because you probably can't fucking read. That's, pro that's why, isn't it? That's why, why you work this shitty fucking job, isn't it? Isn't it, Bob? So get the fuck out of the break room and get out of my fucking life, Bob. Somebody in my chat goes, Mike, who are you talking to? <laughs> this, is, this is what happens when you play too many video games. Video games will... Remember what your mom said when you were a kid? <laughs> video games will rot your brain. <laughs> That's what happens. That's what happens right there. Video games have rotted my brain. People say, Mike, why did you do this? And why did you do that? And you, do you see how many fucking video games I play? Why do you think? Because my brain is fucking rotted. Rotted away. My brain is rotted. If you took my brain out of my head and you scanned it or whatever the fuck scientists do, they'd be like, oh, dude, this guy's fucked. What was his problem? Well, we looked at his synapses and reactions, and we found that he's been playing far too many video games, sir. That's the problem, if you ever want to know what my fucking problem is. What's Mike's problem? <laughs> oh, and then right then, my Moobot comes in and goes, list of games Mike has beaten. <laughs> Just to prove the point even more. Here's the giant list of games Mike's beaten. Go check it out. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Good good timing, Moobot. There you go. And that's my website where you can check out my list of games. Or whatever the fuck. So I do that um, to keep track of the shit that I've beaten. Fuck. Ooh, oh my god. I just got lucky right there. Um, because I do all these streams. I've been streaming for like five or six years or something like that. And uh, I guess five years. I don't know. So five years. Five, five and a half years, I think, I've been streaming. So I only list the games that I stream. Because if I'm, if I'm playing games in my spare time, like for example, I just beat Advance Wars on uh, Game Boy Advance, but I didn't do it on stream. I was just playing it on my own. Um, cause I thought it would be a boring thing to stream because I'm sitting there. You, you, there's like these 18 missions you go through, and like I might be on mission like 10 or whatever, and then it's like, oh, I'm like sitting there like trying to like figure it out, and it's like I have to think about where the fucking guys are going and shit. And I feel like if I was streaming it, I would be just thinking about it and not like paying attention to the chat at all. I feel like it's not a good game to stream, but I like to 
Uh, I mean, maybe somebody could do it, but for me, I feel like it would not be a good streaming game. Uh, but anyway, so I played that. I forget what the fuck my point was. You know why? Because video games have rot in my brain, so I've already forgotten what the hell I was saying. Advance Wars was so good. It is so good. Boom, boom, boom. What have you done with Elmo? I miss him so much. I miss him interrupting your streams. I, Elmo, I don't know. You never know when he's going to appear, what's going to happen. I, I don't know. He d So, just so you know, Elmo and I do not get along. Um, he lives here. I don't really see him often. Um, I think he likes Aaron a little better than me. Um, he doesn't... He doesn't... We don't get along. Um, so... Uh, it's a little bit complicated. But once in a while, there'll be something down in, in this room um, that he needs... So I see this fucking red blur go. He's very fast. I see this red blur go by, and he grabs something. And then uh, sometimes I'm looking around. I'm like, where is my fucking RGB cable for my, like, PS2 or something? Wh where do you think half this shit goes? It's like, I don't know. He's misplaces shit all the time. And he's like, he's, anyway. Mike Bob is really pissed off about me calling him stupid. Well, listen, I don't really have a problem with Bob, but it's, it's just when he comes in and interrupts my streams. Like, other than that, Bob, Bob is actually a really nice guy, to be completely honest. And, you know, Bob, if, if Bob hears this or something, Bob, like, I don't have a problem with you. You're totally fine. But Bob is... Bro, I can tell you this. Bob works in the office. Bob is lazy as shit. And, you know, he, he's he's very lazy. He's a nice guy. Um, but he's just... Whatever. I mean, you know what? He's kind of a dick, though, now that I think about it. Like, I'm, I'm in here trying to do my streams, and he just waltzes in, knocking, knocking my computer over, going to the fucking refrigerator, or whatever the fuck stupid thing he's doing. I'm here trying to do this, trying to fucking work. He comes barging in. No, no regard at all for what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm trying to, I like, I do this. I stream on Twitch. I'm a Twitch partner. Like, I do this. I know it's just playing video games, but like, like, you have to understand, this is like what I do. Like, some people get paid to play video games, you know? Some people get paid to design video games, you know? It's a whole big industry. And he has no respect for it whatsoever. He's just like, oh, I work in an office building. I'm Bob. I do accounting. I'm like, yeah. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine that you do accounting, Bob. But, like, I, you know, I do video games. You have no respect for it. You're knocking all my shit over. So, fuck you. Like, get out of my fucking... I, and, yeah, no, I know. And I know his... I know what he, his thing is. He's going to be like, well, it's the break room. Yeah, but guess what? I fucking pay the fucking rent for the fucking break room and he doesn't I wish I've told him before and he doesn't fucking pay attention he doesn't care he's like well it, it used to be it used to just be the break room and I'm like yeah but times change motherfucker and guess what I fucking pay for, to be in here and fucking Bob Bob doesn't fucking listen that's the other thing he doesn't fucking listen I'm like dude I fucking pay to be in here you can't just be fucking waltzing in here in the middle of my fucking stream you come in here Looking for your fucking donuts. I know, like, four or five years ago, you could just come in whenever you want, get your fucking donut, whatever. That's, that's fine. But guess what? I'm sorry. Times change, and it's not, this, it's not, you know, 2009 anymore. It's different now, and you need to fucking realize that. So get the fuck out of here, Bob. I'm trying to fucking stream this game. Like, go fuck yourself. So never mind what I said about Bob. Like... 
it's like normally like like I said, Bob's like not really a problem, but when you know it is a fucking problem when I'm trying to fucking stream. So and he has no fucking regard for any fucking stream that I fucking do. So. I mean, he might be fine to other people, but for me, he, he's, he's kind of a dick, you know? So fuck Bob is what is the point I'm getting at here. Fuck Bob. Fuck him. I hate him. He can go fuck himself. I'm ruining my fucking streams, piece of shit. Hey, Bob, remember what I heard before about how I was saying you're a nice guy? Fuck you, Bob. Go fuck yourself. Stop ruining my fucking streams, piece of shit. Totally, I t I've changed my opinion on Bob. I think that Bob gets gets along well with certain people in the office. Not me. He doesn't get. We don't. We clash, Bob and I. You should tell Bob you want your fucking donuts. Yeah, well, here's your fucking donuts. Open wide and shove them in his mouth. No, I'm not. No, he would love that. That's exactly what he wants. Why do you think he fucking walks in here to get the fucking donuts? Because he, wa he wants them shoved in his fucking mouth. He would love nothing more than for me to go over to the refrigerator and shove a donut in his mouth. He needs to just get the fuck out. Should I have a Hell in the Cell cage match with Bob? <laughs> right? Well... I would fucking win that. You know, not not because I'm badass or anything like that, but because he pisses me off so much that I would have the rage inside of me to snap his fucking neck. This, this imaginary character <laughs> that I'm going to snap his back. <laughs> Neck snap. <laughs> Cage Mac match with Mike as the, as the Joker. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll be dressed as the Joker. He'll be, he'll be trying to toss donuts at me, whatever the fuck he does. Throw his pencils at me. Whatever, whatever this shit. <laughs> whatever this mystery character does. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just saved myself there. Okay. Would you, how would you reply to Bob if he invited you over to his holiday? Hold up. How would you reply to Bob if he invited you over to his holiday family dinner? I have no interest going to his dinner. Um, why would I do that? I don't get along with him at work. Why would I go to his family dinner? The last thing I want to do is go to fucking Bob's family dinner. His family is probably a bunch of people that would have no fucking respect either. I mean, you know, he probably, you know, that's where he came from. That's the last thing I need is the fucking last thing I need in my life is to fucking meet Bob's mother. Oh, hi, Bob's mother. Guess what? Your son's a prick. Did you know that? Oh, you didn't? Now you know. Yeah. Did you know he's lazy as shit? Did you know? Did you know he's fucking lazy? Do you know that he is a lazy, procrastinating sack of shit? Did you know that? Oh, you didn't? Oh, he tells you that he's, he's... Oh, he told you he's the manager. Oh, is that what he said? Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah. Guess what? He works in a fucking cubicle with 400 other people, and he means nothing to no one, especially me. So maybe now he means nothing to you, too. He should mean nothing to you. I know, he's your, I know you're his mother, but as far as I'm concerned, you should disown this motherfucker. <laughs> all his motherfucker does eat donuts all day. Fuck him. Not knocking over my PC. Piece of shit. <laughs> AWM... <st> AWM <laughs> star says, who's Bob? <laughs> what about Bob? You like that I going on about this for like an hour now? Throw Bob out. He doesn't respect you. It's your place, isn't it? <laughs> mm.
What about Bob? Good movie. Oh, thank you, Wolfmaster Ten. <laughs> He's like, you're 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 running this one really good. Thanks. Anyway, if you're just joining, <laughs> I'm playing Border Down on the Dreamcast. Oh boy. <laughs> the fuck kind of streams are these? What do you want me to fucking do? Sit here and fucking, you know, not talk? <laughs> you know? The fuck? The fuck do you want out of me? Motherfucker! Boom, motherfucker! Oh my god, well, don't get up close to start it. Fuck me. Fuck! Motherfucker! Think of how much is just wasted right now. I thought I had more. I don't have more? I've wasted everything on this. Fuck! Please have another. Thank you, Wish Knight. <clears throat> God. <sighs> I, I, I don't know. Here. Have that run. I, why I decide what to do. <laughs> Fuck me. Seth Tiger says, loud noises. Well, you know what? If you don't like it, leave. <laughs> if you don't like it, leave. Hey. See this phone? This phone costs more than your house. <laughs> what kind of car do you drive? I drive an $800,000 Mercedes. That's my name. <laughs> That's my name. You wanna know my name? Fuck you! That's my name. Hi, this is Border Down for Dreamcast. We're gonna go again. <laughs> Coffee's for closers, Bob. Coffee's for closers. A always B B C closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. That's what I like to say to the people on my stream. Like, Mike, why do you curse so much? You don't like it? Leave. You don't have to be here. Leave. Why are you swearing? Oh, my ears. Mm, good golly. Like, what are you, Ned Flanders? Hey, neighbor. Fucking neighbor Aber over here. Doesn't want to hear me say shit. You don't want to hear, you say, you don't want to hear the word shit? You're in the wrong fucking place. You think this is my fault? You came to Mike Matei's live stream and you don't want to hear the word shit? Dude, this is 100% your fucking fault. The fuck? Who the fuck ever comes to my fucking stream? I don't prefer cursing, Mike. 
You don't? Good. Why the fuck are you here? This is the worst place for you to be. This is the worst fucking place for you to be. You know what? Also, by the way, don't go see Bob Saget live or Andrew Dice Clay or any of these motherfuckers. No, no soup, no soup, that's right. Scrum diddly umptious. Licking the, licking the fucking wallpaper, that's right, licking the fucking wallpaper. Taste the pineapples, they taste like pineapples. Taste the apples, they taste like apples. Taste the schnozberries, they taste like schnozberries. Who ever heard of a schnozberry? We are the music makers. And we are the dreamers of dreams. Do you not fucking understand? The fuck is your problem? The fuck is wrong with you? Doesn't know what a fucking schnozberry is. Who the fuck doesn't know what a schnozberry is? You're not allowed to lick my wall anymore, motherfucker. You don't get to lick shit. I was gonna let you lick anything you wanted to lick, but now you don't get to lick anything. Fucking shit. Where's that drop me to though? Let's say I'm fucking like already. It's too early. It's too early. I, I need to do better than that if I'm gonna fucking make this. Any news on Bob Saget's ball sack? Um, wasn't he a member here at one point several years ago? Yeah, Bob Saget's ball sack. Bob Saget's ball sack has not been around a while. Neither. But Fat Cock Jr. is fucking gone. Like I don't know what the fuck happened to. You know, speaking of all these fucking people, like, Fat Cock Jr. is like, I don't know. Lord Pubius, he's fucking gone. I am the Lord of Pubes! If you're going to take away anything from today's stream, I'd like you to take away that last comment I made. I am the Lord of the Pube. You can remember that when you fall asleep tonight. Just think about that. I want that to be the last thought you have before you fall asleep. I want you to dream about the Lord of the Pubes. I totally fucking missed that little fucking item. It's great. I didn't know it eventually goes off the screen like that. Now I know that. Learning all these little things. Gotta be quick to grab that. Now I know. Now I know. Glaive says, I am here. Glaive is here. The weapon from Krull? You're here? Well, that's great. I am Glaive. The glaive. Lord of the pubes. One pube to rule them all. One pube to bind them. Yes. Yes, preciouses. Potato. potato you don't know what a fucking potato is why would he know what a fucking potato is he's like he lived in a fucking cave for like a thousand years dude he doesn't he doesn't know he doesn't know his name he doesn't know a fucking potato he doesn't know shit like look at this motherfucker you expect him to know anything his eyes are bulging out of his fucking head 
Sam's like a dick. Potato. You don't even know what a fucking potato is. No, he doesn't. There's clearly something wrong with him. Maybe you should leave him alone. Just like Frodo. The whole time Frodo's like, Sam, leave him alone. Leave him alone. He's, he's guiding us to the place we gotta go to save the world. Leave him alone. Sam's like, fucking potato, motherfucker. What the fuck? He knew it from before he went underground, actually. Yeah, but when he went underground, then he went fucking crazy and he forgot everything. You know? He, li he lived like a bazillion years in a fucking cave or whatever. That'll, that'll do things to a man. You know? I know you, it's like this game right here. I'm playing, what the fuck's the name is? Border Down? You think if I was in a cave for like 500 years and I came out, you think I'm gonna remember the name of this game? No, I'm not gonna remember the name of the fucking game. I'm also not gonna remember what a fucking potato is. The fuck is a fucking, fucking potato? I don't fucking know what a fucking potato is. I have no fucking idea what a fucking potato is. That's what it would be like. I would have no fucking idea because I've been, I've been in a fucking cave for 500 years. Expect me, you expect me to remember shit? I'm lucky I'm a fucking alive. Good thing I had this fucking ring or whatever that kept me a fucking alive or I'd be fucking dead. Look, look at what I look like. I don't know what a potato looks like. Fuck you. Taito. Yeah, Taito. Exactly. I'm just gonna keep going. But will I remember what Zelda is? Oh, I'll, I'll be just making Zelda references the entire time I'm in the cave. That's what'll keep me going. I'll be like, oh, this cave kind of reminds me of the cave where you get the sword. In Zelda. From the old man in the cave. Or like that time I went in the cave and there was a guy selling candles. Gee, I wish I had a candle right now. Or that time I met the Moblin, who was a traitor. And he said, tell my secret to nobody. And then immediately after that, I told everyone all about him being a fucking traitor. It was great. Tell nobody. Fuck you. I'll tell who I want to tell, motherfucker. It's a secret to everybody. Motherfucker, die. Come on. Fuck! Like, how long does it fucking take? I feel like it's taking longer than usual. There. Jesus. God, I had a little bit more. <whistles> we 
would you name your kid Error? Um, no. Oh God, oh God. Break hit 10. God, oh God, oh God. Okay. Oh boy. Oh my god, I almost died. Okay. Oh my god, all right. I haven't usually been making it through the, this section today. So that was good. I can fucking remember this part. These green things? Oh my god. this part this all breaks down fuck those things are right there ah this one get to that fucking boss again One stray bullet. That's all it takes. Damn it. Oh. Wow, this went to shit. In the last fucking two seconds. Great. Whole fucking thing's ruined now. God damn it. Oh my god. Fuck it. Get them. I'm fucking... Done. Stop. Stop. Bring me to the fucking menu. God damn it. Come on. I wish it would I wish it would start again quicker. Do it again. Now I gotta grab this these fucking things quicker. Here. Nice way to waste shit right there. I'm just gonna dive it in, so. Out the little stupid lasers. Okay. 
okay. It goes into like a cutscene thing here, doesn't it? Oh no, it doesn't. Not not here. Nice. There, this is where it is. Okay. And then this fucking bird thing. still alive. No, I'm not. Not at all. Nope. Boom, boom, boom. I am dead. We are all dead here, yes? We are died. Live equals evil. Ooh. Evil dead. You only watch reruns? Apparently not, since you're talking to me right now. Apparently not. Apparently you're a fucking liar. Apparently somebody's full of shit. This part is the fucking worst. Oh, fuck. I did not mean to do that. That's gonna fuck me. I, I did not mean to hit that like that. Fucking god damn it. <sighs> fuck. Well, at least it brought me to this fucking part. not get a fucking good run of this. How I'm fucking alive still is a fucking miracle. I don't I don't know. Your guess is better than mine. section. I have absolutely no recollection of this area. Oh, there was a fucking thing up there. Did you see that? So you gotta know all these little areas where the boxes are. God damn it. Oh. Motherfucker, all right. He is this the guy's the fucking worst. Oh, no, he's not. The other dude's the worst. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh. Oh. 
Ooh, that was really close. Oh. All right. A little bit better. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, you think? There you go. Boom, bitch. Now, do I keep that three for the next thing? Let's see if the laser level stays. I don't even, I haven't even been paying attention to that if it gives it to you for the next thing. So that was the red track wrong? Yeah, it says border red. Ugh. So that's good, it keeps your laser level. Let me go to the next level. Atlanta. Boom. Having a high laser level is good. Ooh. Almost died there. This game's so good, love the branching path too. Yeah, it's great. I agree. Oof. Okay. There's my continue. Now, so does that drop me back now because I continued? I swear to God, I shoved the camera on my fucking hand. It's probably too late. Oh! They put me right into the fucking boss? Okay, I didn't expect that. Did 
run out. That's probably when I should be using my laser when it does that shit. Okay. Now it goes to the next phase, right? This is the part I have not fucking gotten by. Come on now. laser thing? Come on. Oh my god, I got it. Jesus, fuck this boss. That is a tough fucking guy. Finally. Alright, let's see what's... I, this is the furthest I've been. Fucker. Finally got him. All right, let's see. And I got two more pass here. Border yellow. Ba -ba -ba. Stage four, trap. It's a trap. I didn't mean to hit that. That time I did. <laughs> Look at this shit. Sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their head. Did that guy just go invisible? Is he kind of come back again? I don't even know what's going on. Oh my god. Look at this. They're throwing out garbage? Like, garbage? I have never seen this before. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Woo! Come on, Bob! What about Bob? Uh. Oh, fuck me. I don't even know. Look at this shit. I don't even know where you're supposed to be on that. Never even seen it. No clue. All right, you knew, you knew those guys had to come out there where I was trying to fucking hide. Oh! And that's it, right? Oh. That's how I feel. <laughs> As a pilot, this experience is trying to him. Unfortunately, even Antares could not stop crazy Osiris. Like from Smite, we accept the results seriously and we will examine the measures. Furthermore, we order the pilot, Frank Boyd, to do retraining. Exactly. I need to retrain. All right, I gotta stop. My arm's fucking killing me now. So, <laughs> apparently, I guess using an arcade stick hurts my arm more so than using a. Uh, d-pad all right anyway guys thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed the stream 
Border Down, great game. You should play it if you have Dreamcast. Play Border Down, very excellent game. Uh, I literally, I think I have zero complaints about it. Usually I'll have uh, some minor complaint. I can't think of one complaint with this game. Not one. I think it's fantastic. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you later. Thanks for all the subs and all that stuff tonight. I appreciate it. And uh, you can find the stream later on Mike Matei on YouTube where I put my VODs. Aren't I cool? VODs. Yeah, I know all that hip lingo. Huh? All right, see you later. Bye.